I gotta catch up to it. Hey everybody, we are going into the jungle. This is Carmen. You might remember him from the last video and we look a little different because it's not winter time. Yeah, yeah t-shirt. So you have, oh my gosh, you got this cart now. Yeah. What are we doing? We're delivering water, bug spray, wipes, toilet paper, whatever we can. And rat. Rat, rat traps. Yeah. Rat traps. Big rat. It's, these are big. big those are big rats. Big rat, r big rats. Socks. We got socks. People are still living out here. Oh yeah, yeah. Lots of people. Yep. Th that shouldn't be. No, it shouldn't. No, I it think shouldn't. we we exactly did the same conversation in the middle of winter. Yep. Yep. And it's a little better now because of the weather, but winter's coming. It's bad. The bugs eat them up. The the rats. It's. You know, it doesn't matter which season, it's bad. It's it's not good to live out here. So who are we going to visit? Bill. And Bill. Oh lots of others after that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And we have some new people. Hi. Hi. <laughs> oh come on. This is um, the person kind of running the stuff behind <laughs> the scenes. This is Deb. That's it? That's it. That's it. <laughs> Well, Deb's son, I'm sure, will say Deb. more. Hi, I'm Noah. Hey, man. Just helping out. How long have you been doing this? A uh, couple years. That was it, Mom? Yes. Yeah. And? Yep. I don't know, that's it. <laughs> well, why are you doing it? Just want to help out. Yeah. Yeah. And this is? Hi, I'm Kate. And she is a reporter for the... Ithaca Journal, Ithaca and, Journal and, and Binghamton, Binghamton Press. Press and Elmira paper. Yeah, so we're going into the tent city today. Um, you know, tent cities are kind of different in different areas. If you follow me and we do the uh, Seattle, there's usually like 50 tent cities or tent, there's like 50 tents. Here, there's just pockets of people throughout <laughs> hey hey I, I think I got that on camera the bug the bug all right that's gonna so you only take it this far well here this is rough going in here he's in the woods so yeah. we'll leave it here and then we'll head down the path because he's the only one here in this area yeah. by himself and we built him a, 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 sh a, a shack we built him a little You'll see it when we yeah. go in there, but then we put an addition on it a couple weeks ago so he can sit out of the rain, um, just a metal, I mean, yeah. roof. But. So yeah. many of you probably saw the video of folks in Koreatown stepping up to help homeless yeah. people. Yeah. That's Carmen. Carmen's been doing this for how long? Seven, eight years, ten years, I don't know. Yeah. Ten years. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I just learned today that one of the reasons was you came down here to see a friend. Yep. And? Found him hanging in a tree by his neck. Dead. My gosh. Why'd you have to ask me that? Well, we were talking about it earlier. Because he, but he was asking me to help him. And I was just always bringing him with rat traps and water. He needed more help than that. Yeah. And that now started Second Wind Cottages, where you're housing people. Yeah. But you're a business owner. Mm -hmm. You're not a social worker. No. You're not an outreach worker. No. So why the heck are you doing this? I love people. And I feel for them. And I, I've got it, so I'm going to share it. Yep. And we need all of you to start doing the same thing. I'm sorry. I didn't no, mean I to usually, get you emotional. No, I, use, I, I usually can't share that. I just, it, it always trips me up. Maybe that's a good thing. You know? Well, I say... Another human being was asking me for help. Another human being was asking me for help. I didn't, I didn't, know, I didn't know I could do anything else. I didn't know I could do anything else. I was a, I'm, a, I, I'm not an educated person. I just... Um, I mean, it's, it's, I wish people could hear that, you know, that, that it doesn't take education, it doesn't take, you know, you to be employed it, to, to do this. It just, I mean, that, that rocked 
that rocked my world when I came, you know, on a path like this and coming up to his tent and there he was hanging in the tree. Dead. Okay. Hello. Daily breads. Okay. You know how many times we've come here with those and forgotten to give them to you? <laughs> I keep putting no. them in the car. Where, where's Chuck though? Rat boy, he's with the kids. He's well. Oh, okay. I need to hold on to that's oh. Oh, sorry. Oh, okay. Oh yeah. Dog treats. I thought that was rat poison. Oh, okay. No. Oh, oh, hey, hey. I, I, Trash I got, bags. Oh wow. Okay. Mm -hmm. I, I gotta show you something though. I, I got a, a, a joke. Uh, okay. I wanted to give it to somebody who has a dog. Yeah. Yeah. So how did the trash bags go over? Well. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Do you know anybody that has a dog that would like to? Oh, yeah, lots of dogs. Yeah. Uh, why can't you ever roll around in something? <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, I'll give it to. Okay. Give, you want me to give I, it to I, somebody? Yeah, see, you're, you're, I, I, I got all the copies of it, too. Yeah. Because, oh, okay. Uh, right. Yeah. And I, I, look at how I fixed this Yeah, up. yeah, look at this. Where do you want water, Bill? This is nice. Um, so you built this. We built it for Bill. Thank yep, you. yep. Thank you. Yep. And then we yeah, added I, on this awning here and this awning here. A couple of weeks ago, so we've got a place to sit out of the rain and keep this stuff dry. Yep, yep. Oh, wow. Wow. Looks really nice. Check this out. So great. It's wow. awesome. Thanks. Oh, this is beautiful. Wow. Yeah, we're sure people wear a shirt like it's affordable housing in Ithaca. Yeah. Right here. Affordable housing in Ithaca. Yeah. Bill, he has an income. Yeah. Yeah. It's affordable housing, right? Yeah. This is Absolutely. affordable housing. Absolutely. He's got to feed the rats. Yeah. <laughs> Boy. Well, it's pet friendly. Yeah. Right. Well, you know, you, Mother Nature doesn't doesn't pr forbid me to have any pets. I got deers. Oh, I got yeah. I got uh, um, uh, woodchucks, rabbits. Yeah. Well, the rabbits don't come around here very much. No, <laughs> not here. <laughs> How long have you been out here? Since uh, um, uh, 2013. Yep. Wow. Yep. Uh, down down there a little ways uh, is my the, the first place where I was camped. But uh, uh, it floods in the, in the spring, yeah. so I had to move up here just a little higher. And so, but I'm basically in the same place, you know. Yeah. And so, uh, yeah, I'm 67. And uh, um, tell me about homelessness in Ithaca. Well, um, I can't really tell you about homelessness in Ithaca because I've been homeless for all my life, just about. Uh, uh, I've had apartments for for times and stuff, uh, but um. Uh, um as far as you see, like, I, I don't really associate with anybody as far as discussing why they're homeless. We just accept we're homeless and that's that. You know what I mean? We don't really discuss it as a subject or anything, you know? Well, you shouldn't have to accept it. Nobody should be homeless. Uh, I don't know about that, but I mean, uh, uh, you know, uh, it, it's debatable. That's really debatable. I mean, I mean, look at all the thousands and thousands of people that wind up find, finding themselves homeless in a heartbeat because of, because of flood or because... Of, <laughs> that was a Thanks. mosquito. Thank you. <laughs> Excuse me. No, <laughs> no, no. If you see a mosquito, <laughs> yeah, yeah. please nail it. <laughs> right. And you were very gentle. <laughs> so thank you on that too. Okay. And uh, um, but uh, um, yeah. What was I saying? I, I, I got. We were just talking about homelessness. So yes. Um, but, what uh, would you want people to know about homelessness? I wouldn't want people to know that it could happen to you at any time, and and don't don't be prejudiced against somebody if they are homeless. You know what I mean? People got to survive, period. And, and you know, whether you got a home or not, you still got to survive. Uh, <clears throat> I'm thinking about possibly leveling this off and uh -huh. putting pellets down and stuff. But okay. But you see, last night I was sitting with my guitar yep. sitting in that seat while, yep. while it was raining. Yeah, yeah, and I know. So, you can do it now while it's raining, yeah, right? Yeah, and, so, awesome. and so, see this flap that I put there, that's only because in that bucket I have dry paper and stuff. Right, that I, I don't want to get the rain yep. it. So, um, no, but, uh, yeah, and so yeah, I, I looked. About, I was it's, even thinking about pouring pouring cement for the floor. Can you see it? Oh yeah, no, it's great. I'm I'm just overjoyed that Carmen comes out here and builds these things. Yep, for yep. people. And he also introduced me to um, who is that congressman that um, uh, Tom Reed. Tom Reed, and and he Tom Reed uh, uh, got my my food stamps back because yep. DSS was trying to take my food stamps away. Yeah. And and, and, and they did take so away. So Carmen my came and hooked you up to the congressman and now you got food stamps again. Absolutely. And 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 then I got a letter from Albany saying that uh the, the food stamps are not going to be in question again until at least 2020. Great. But still DSS is still holding on to my heat benefits. Oh my gosh. You see they said if it's a tent or, or a recreational vehicle, you can't have food stamps. You can't have your heat benefits. 
I, I use propane for heat. And this is not a, a re recreational vehicle. It's not a vehicle. Right, right, right. This is your and home. It's not a tent. And it's not a tent. So this is your home. But, 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 I know, but, but you have to... Uh, that word, uh, you know, uh, that doesn't count with them. Why did you build... Why do you come out here and build shacks for people? Why not? I mean, the guy's in a tent, it collapses, he's getting wet, he's getting sick all the time. He's a human being. I mean, why not? Well, people, you know, say, well, I don't really, <laughs> you're right. He's a person. He's another human being. No different than me, no better or worse than me. So, uh, it just seems like the right thing to do. Well, why don't other people come out and do this? I don't know. You know, if everybody, know. If everybody did this, There'd be no homelessness. Yep, that's right. That's right. You know, so here it is. Here it is. Do you think this is comfortable for me? Do you think this is really comfortable? If you think this is this romantic, oh, let's go give a poor homeless guy a sandwich and, and have him... No, it, this is not a romantic thing. This is, not, this is not a comfortable place for me to be. But for some reason, I've been given much. And, and it just, I cannot, I can't keep it to myself anymore. Yeah. I can't. Yeah. I j well, hold on, let me catch up to you. <laughs> come on, come on. What? Well, what, that's one what? of the problems of why people don't in get involved is that they so often want this feel good moment. Oh, God. And, and when you're helping homeless people, it's not always a feel-good moment. No, no. So they just want to give a sandwich and give some clothes and then go back to their lives. And I'm not trying to make anybody feel guilty doing that. It's just that we have people dying out here in the woods. Yes. And in whatever community you're in, there's people dying. Yes. And we need to step in up and do something and it's going to be dirty it's going to be nasty it's not going to feel good but you know what it really does feel good because at the end you yeah. know you know yeah. Yeah, it's yeah, not this yeah, fuzzy yeah. feel no, good it's not it's not you know that you want when you're just doing this charity thing right it's this oh my gosh we help save a life yes yes and it's so much better so yeah. come on let's go out and help people the difference between myself and, and Deb she's really smart she's really intelligent she comes from a no uh, she's she comes from a different bracket of of uh, people culture she, she's, she's educated not, she's educated but yet she's trudging through her her husband trudges through this place with that cart full rat, strapped to his I mean and he's heavy. a dentist he, we carted that yeah he's a dentist yeah. he's a professional yeah, he's a professional. And you're a professional too. God, God. And I think you're extremely intelligent. No. Okay. Cut. You know why? Cut. No, 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 no. <laughs> you know why I think you're intelligent? Because you're smart enough to step up and help your neighbors. Interview her. <laughs> he says they got to interview you. It doesn't have anything to do with intelligence at all. It's it's about your heart and wanting to help. How hard is it for you up here to get down here? How, how did you do that? A couple months ago, several months ago, me and you were, do you remember when I when we were walking out and I stopped and I says, are you for real? You know, are you really for real? What? Uh, are you for real? Something happened. <laughs> I how know you, you are. How do you get there? I don't know. We got him going. <laughs> Carmen, you've got extra passion today. You're fired up. So tell me, why do you do this? I can't imagine not doing it. Right, Carmen? I mean, I don't know how but you but can walk through here. There was a time we didn't. Ago you weren't, four years ago you weren't. But that was when I didn't know about it. I really didn't know. When you come in yep. here and you see you people go. and realize they're human beings, no different than I am, it, it, how can you not help? That's how I feel about it. I mean, they're my friends. When I take people out of the jungle and we go to eat or go to do laundry or go to second wind or whatever we do, 
I can't stand bringing them back here and dropping them off. It's the worst feeling in the world. That's one of the, the one of the things that bothers me is I love taking my homeless friends out to eat to a really nice restaurant, but then we're coming back to where it's their home. Now they don't seem bothered by it, but my heart is breaking because yep. I hate that they're out in the woods or exactly. living in a car. Exactly. Yep. You know, when we, we had a flooding in our area this summer, a couple weeks ago, and we had a boil water advisory, and here I am thinking, this is complicated, I have to boil my water. Are you kidding me? I mean, they we're bringing them water, or they're going down to the pipe to fill up their water jugs. So I just can't imagine not helping. I don't understand why more people don't get involved. Well, what really clicked with you? What was it that clicked? Because, and were you the first? Was it your husband, your son? We came with Carmen, our whole family, Chuck and I, and all four of our kids, and we walked you through, and we saw it. saw it, and that's all it took. I mean, it's harder for me to stay away and not come here, yeah. because I want to come. But people see homelessness all the time, and they don't do anything. I don't understand it. I don't, because we, we've not only come in and delivered things, we've made friendships. These are our friends here. Yeah and you want to help, you want to change, do whatever you can to improve their situation. You got bugs. I can't imagine living out here. You know, I thought it was gonna to compare to the, oh, no. uh, to the winter. Yeah, no, it's, it's all bad. And this is it's just bad. as bad in a different way. Yep, yep. You got rats and bugs and, and I love that Bill swatted the mosquito off my head. That was awesome. I probably shouldn't share this story, but I will. You don't have to do what you want with it. A couple of years ago, I came down here with a, with a friend that had just collected some money for, for a job he did, and we parked out here, and um, we, were in, we were in here for a few hours anyways, wandering around. My vehicle was unlocked, windows down, and like $1,500 in cash just stuffed in the, in the door of the truck. I mean, really, really, and it's like, it ain't gonna be there when we get back. There's no way. It was there. It was there. So to all you people, they're nothing but a bunch of thieves and this and that. Yeah. 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 I, yeah. I remember yeah. I was on one of my first road trips with Ford. Yes. Brand yeah. new Ford Flex. Yes. Top yep. of the line. Yep. I got 14 boxes of Hane socks in the back. Right. Right. And I'm driving down the railroad tracks in in Nashville. Uh -huh. You know, and I parked the car going. It's not gonna be here. <laughs> no way. Right, and right. sure enough, I came back and it was there. Yeah, right, right. Speak to the people, because I saw on the on the Dateline thing that people, this new these new letters, not in my own backyard or whatever. So listen, so I put, I, I built houses for homeless people in my own backyard, literally, Mark, you know, in my right. own backyard. Had a theft five, six years ago from my business out front. And the police were called. And they didn't even think to interview homeless people out there because they said, what? they're not gonna steal from you. We're not even gonna talk to them. They're not gonna steal from you. You're helping them. No, this was someone else. So isn't it, listen, they, they've been, they, you know, don't be afraid of in my own backyard thing. I, I did it by whatever chance, stupidity, call it what you will, but I, I just put them in my own backyard. And you know what? I trust every single one of them. So the woman that lives in the tent here is a member of our online support group and I've never met her in person. I've been trying to reach out and let her know that I was going to be visiting, but maybe her phone wasn't working, who knows. Um, but uh, I always get excited when I meet people that I've met in our support group. Yeah. I personally think it's horrible that anybody's homeless but it's amazing how people make the best of a bad situation if you remember the video of ali and tj this was where they lived carmen actually built this for them uh you might not recognize it with all the snow but when they got into housing um this shack 
Building. building. Building? Yeah, I like building better than shack. Yeah, I don't like shack. I don't either. I don't like shed. It's yeah, a building. Unless it's like a burger shack where yeah, it's yeah, a right. restaurant, right? you know what I mean? It's a building. It's a building. So this building uh, went on to a wonderful couple. They don't want to go on camera. Um, they're uh, part of the uh, online support group that we facilitate. Uh, it's great meeting them in person. I mean, you've got the... Um, solar panels here and they're making the best of a bad situation but people shouldn't have to be like this no no they shouldn't this is not because of choice no this absolutely is, not this absolutely is the not. only choice no another person she there, there's income involved here you know it's not like they don't have income they cannot afford to live indoors yeah it's just plain and we, and, it's plain and simple it's just, that's it, that's it. And we just talked to another homeless man mm -hmm. who's working full time. Yes. And working. living out here. Living out here. Yep. It's very sad. Very sad. Tell me about TJ and Ellie. <laughs> well, TJ and Ellie are married and they're in an apartment, a beautiful apartment with a beautiful view, um, staying connected um, and just trudging it out day after day. Now, I heard a rumor that somebody saw the video I posted of them and hooked them up with a wedding. Big time, yeah, yeah, it was awesome. I and mean, the community, you know, stepped up and- Because had, of the video. Yeah, because of the video, yep, yep. So and it works. It, it works. works. This stuff works, yeah, yeah it really I can, does. Yeah. I never thought when I started Invisible People that I was going to be helping homeless people Get married. With, yeah, get married. <laughs> Absolutely. I can't even yeah, get no, a date. No, I know. You know what I mean? <laughs> no, it's, it's awesome, Mark. Yeah. You're doing great work. In my 10 years of doing Invisible People, I've been out in a lot of interesting outreach situations. I remember my first time doing outreach in Washington, D.C. We got on the bus, did public transportation, took the trains. Then in London, they go out in the middle of the night because they have to wake people up. They literally have to see rough sleepers sleeping to, for them to qualify as homeless. Yeah, and it's not just the United States that's stuck on stupid. You know, I mean, you know, having to qualify as homeless is just kind of ridiculous. And then today, Carmen's dragging a cart in the woods of upstate New York. You're doing a really good job dragging that cart too. So if you remember Sinbad in the last video, Unga Bunga. So Tom, what the hell are you doing with the Twilight Zone now? Hey, you remember him, huh? Yeah, you remember, remember him, him. awesome. I don't recognize you without the winter coat and all the layers, <laughs> you know? How you doing, man? Uh, How are you, brother? Huh? Okay, good. Good. Jason good. came by and dropped me off like 32 good. by fours. Good. Good. Cool, man. Uh, good seeing you. He I came up behind us. Where are you so going? I, I, uh, yeah. Well, you don't invite me down for them, you know, barbecues. Yeah. But Every two Saturdays we cook out, buddy. So what's changed since I seen you last? I'm still Unga Bunga. <laughs> <laughs> You're still the Unga Bunga man, huh? Yeah, I'll take the toilet tissue and the batteries. <laughs> yeah. You want wipes? Yeah, I'll take wipes. I gotta go. I was gonna go do laundry today. Oh, yeah. give me a bug spray, Carmen. Oh, you want one of them? Okay. Yeah, I hate those little gnats. They drive me insane. But the water's drying up and all the little gnats are coming up. So I didn't realize this. It's almost because of the bugs and everything else. Mm. It's almost as bad as winter out here in the summer. What would you rather have, winter or summer? Winter. You'd really? Winter. Yep, okay. I'd rather be you cold. Remember that when, you, when I talked to you in February, it's so cold, it's so cold. No, I love That's the cold. You know me. I'm you candle, I'm candle and propane. Yeah. Not me, I boil water and I light up candles. You know me, I'm a candle guy. Don't get me no glass candles. Give me those little boxes that Deb and Chuck get all right, me. All right, all right, all right. Yeah, those little sticks. I put them inside the muffin pans. He, he's picky. Yo, he is. He is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I love winter. I can't stand the summer. I hate bugs. Yeah. How's, Jesse, how's Jesse doing? Jesse? 
Yeah, he's okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he went to the, for church to get him a generator. Church said he was gonna get him a generator. Mm -hmm. But now he's saying that he don't want it. Oh, really? Yeah, I think he's going back to Arizona. Oh, you think so? Yeah. Come on, he's 75 years old, man. Right? Oh my gosh, the uh, person in there is 75? Yeah, he's 75 years old. Yeah. He's a veteran. Yeah. Yeah. A veteran. Yeah. I'm the one 75. that looks out for him. Yeah. Come on, see what I mean? I know, hey, I know, bugs. I know, I know. Yeah. Will he use the water if we leave water there? Yeah, leave him one. Yeah, look all the wood they left me, Tommy. Oh, wow. Look at the two by fours he left me. Finally brought something, huh? Yeah, look at that. Good. So what are you going to build? Oh, I'm going to do my second floor. Second now. story. And You're going to build a second story? Yeah. yeah oh, not? my gosh. Yeah. You can walk up there, buddy. Oh, I, I believe it. Yeah. I believe it. Why do you call me Twilight Zone Man? That's the way you talk. What, what, what's, what, what are you seeing? What's wrong with the way I talk? You talk like you're from another planet. Ah! <laughs> wow. This is the site of a oh, horrific fire last winter. Two brothers were, um, had their camp amongst all the boulders there, and it went up in fire. Did anybody and, uh, get hurt? Yeah, one of them, well, they were both hurt. One went to the hospital and was there for quite a long period of time. Oh my gosh. So, I mean, still... that's what I assume seeing this tent here as we were walking by. Mm -hmm. I assume that was a fire. But you'll see several. How many people live here? Too many. Too many. It seems like there's more people out here this time. Okay. okay. I'm gonna, nah, I won't go there, I should. I can go there and you just, you can not use it or whatever. But I remember I watched a interview, some reporter interviewed Mother Teresa before she died. And he said, you know, things are worse here in Calcutta now than when you started helping these people. And she said, young man, she shook, his, shook her finger at him as a young man, God has called me to be obedient, not successful. I, 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 you know, the, it I mean, was I, yeah, I, but the, I wasn't referencing you. God bless that you're out here doing this. It's a little I'm more a though. sign of the economy that there's it, more yeah, people yes, out here. Yes, yes, absolutely. Yeah, there's more people out here. And who, who else besides you and Deb and are coming out to help them? Yeah, who else? Is Where there nobody? Well, that's that's it. This is about it. I mean, the local shelter is about ready to close. Yep. Yep, they're ready to close. Who knows what's going to happen there? And even what, then, they, what, they had very limited beds. We're supposed to be the best, smartest country in the world. I, 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 don't, I don't believe that. I don't believe we are. Look, look around. Look, 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 look at that. Look over there. And then look over there. And look all through there. The best, smartest country in the world come on we're forgetting about people we're losing perspective the passion that Carmen just showed is why I believe that every leader in homeless services should be out here minimum four hours a month minimum four hours a month connecting with homeless people on the front lines, trying to get them help, hitting the wall of bureaucracy, getting frustrated as all frontline workers do because there's no help for these people. And I'm not just talking Ithaca, it's every community. Just four out, and I don't mean walking down the hall saying hello to a homeless person on your way to the office or going to an event where formerly homeless people are sharing their story. Get out onto the streets helping homeless people. Get into the woods, under the bridge, go to the hotels and help homeless people. Minimum four hours a month. Because this passion that Carmen has, that I have, is what we need 
to fight homelessness. With, I mean, I don't see a lot of this passion in other people. I don't. And that's one of my biggest frustrations about homeless services. I'm kind of messed up right now. It's, um, they're talking to homeless people out here and the conversation is about how they're gonna survive the upcoming winter. And as awesome as it is that people are here to help homeless people survive the winter, the reality is they should be helping them get out of homelessness, but even in an affluent community like Ithaca, there is no support to get all the people out of the woods that are living in these makeshift buildings and tents into housing. There's no support for them and it's getting worse. The cost of housing in Ithaca and everywhere is going up. So you're gonna see more people living out in the woods, more people living on the sidewalk. And it's heartbreaking that they're talking about how to build a shack before winter comes when they should be talking about how they're going to get out of homelessness. But there is no path out of homelessness. Tell me about the people living out here. Uh, okay. I'll tell you. Want to know? Yeah. Chris and Allie. She gave birth to a dead baby about six months ago. They were living in, they were in an apartment. And they just, they lost it. They just lost it. That's why they're here. We got a call. We went to the hospital. She was holding her dead baby. She gave birth to a dead baby. And they just lost it. They lost it. They couldn't hold it together. They mm -hmm. lost their place. They lost their apartment. And here they are. So, I mean, when people see homeless people like this, they automatically automatically just... think it's they're just losers. Right. They don't. They don't know. They don't care to know. They don't care to know why, what, what happened in their life to get them here. Everybody's got a story. Everybody does. And some of them are really sad. And this is a sad one. Yeah. My gosh. That's where she sleeps. Thoughts? Shouldn't be terrible. What can we do about it? I don't know, Mark. These are just a few of the second wind cottages Carmen built. He's housing people. He's housing people, getting them out of the tent city here in Ithaca. It's amazing. He's not social services. He's not funded by the city or the state or the county. He's just a normal, concerned citizen that's stepping up to take action to help end homelessness in his community. One thing that I just talked to Deb about mm -hmm. was y'all are talking to homeless people mm -hmm. about winter coming and how to prepare for it. Mm -hmm. And it's great that you're doing that, mm -hmm. but somebody should be talking about, hey, we have an apartment for you or a shelter bed we're, for you. We're doing, we're doing everything we can. To get to make that happen, we are 
right, you're, right. Yeah. But you're it, and you're a businessman. So you're building three cabins. So if you guys don't know this, Carmen is a businessman. He has an auto body shop, and he took his own property and started building cottages. There's a link down below, Second Wind Cottages, please support. He's now building three more cottages. How many will you have? 18. 18. 18. So there's 18 people that got out of here, but there's still 30, 30, 40. maybe 40 still here. And he's a private individual. He's not local, state, federal support. You don't get money from you're just private donations, right? That's right. That's right. So <laughs> I, what I'm trying to paint the picture of is here's a private individual that is housing homeless people, which is amazing. We need more of that. But the government should be doing this. The city of Ithaca should be doing this. The state of New York should be doing this. People should not be living in the woods behind us. A private citizen, a business owner, is stepping up to create cottages to get people out of homes. I have spoken with the mayor of the city of Ithaca. Who I, I like. I yes, like. I do too. He's my friend. Yeah. He's my friend. And I, and I offered to come down here and build these cottages here, down here, and have them bring agencies in, wrap around with services. Right. We'll do that. We'll raise the money to build them. Yeah. But you know how that'll go. I mean, you know, you can't build them there. Why not? Yeah. Why? Right. Just just do it. Just right. do it. Right. You know, and so earlier you were saying that you're not an educated man. But that sounds pretty smart. You know, and you know, it's the great the world's greatest philosopher Michael Jordan, just do it. Just do it. Just go help people. They're smarter than I am. And no, they, you're they, smarter and, and, than they, they are. They say it can't be. No, you can't, you can't do that. You yeah. can't do that. No, this. you're smarter than and, they. Anyways, thank you, everybody, for watching. Please support Second Wind Cottages. Please support Carmen and the amazing work that they're doing here. Hit like. Subscribe, support us on Patreon so we can continue telling these stories. And thank you very much for watching Invisible People channel and sharing all our content. Any last words? I'm, I'm shot after today. Too much hurt out there. Too many hurt people. I'm shot. So it's up to us to do something. That's you. Thank you, everybody.